We were both ready for some solitude after spending our first day in Death Valley with some pretty large holiday crowds. So we were ready to venture off to a location that would be far enough away, down a four-wheel drive only road, and unadvertised, and we figured this gave us the best chance for some solitude. When we pulled off the highway, we saw two vehicles pulled over that had just come from the direction we were headed. One was four-wheel drive, the other a low clearance passenger car. That car had part of its drivetrain hanging on the ground. This gave us confidence we were headed in the right direction. The road wasn't bad, but there were sections where our high clearance was necessary. There were some stretches that had deep sand that we had to gun through that the Jeep was happy to do. And otherwise, the road was a bit washboarded. As we tried to determine where to park that was closest to the dunes we planned to visit, we did see one group camped, but otherwise it was wide open, quiet, and deserted. We brought the dogs with us, knowing it would be a cool day. It would give them more time with us and a chance to run around before we hiked to the dunes. And the back of the Jeep has a platform for them to lay down for their daytime naps. One thing I experience and would like to listen more closely to is when the scene beckons to me. Hard to describe and I'm sure I'm not alone in experiencing this, but it is real. And this was happening as we started to hike towards the dunes. I knew I would have to stop to take this photograph. And even though the sun was high in the sky, I was seeing it as a black and white, so that didn't matter. It actually played into the vision I was having. The ground we were walking on was covered in some of the coolest looking rocks, some with amazing streaks of color. The geology in Death Valley is something I want to learn about. And I actually bought a book when I returned. It's clear some really big stuff happened here. Man, cool colors. After a mile or so, I stopped to determine what focal length I needed to compose the scene. I needed more reach than I had for the 4x5, though I probably could have repositioned. But I also didn't have my set of colored filters that I would need to darken the sky as I wanted. So I chose the GFX with the 70 to 200 lens. The GFX allows me to choose different aspect ratios, which is a great tool to have in composing the scene. It also has film simulations that for black and white have settings to simulate various red and orange filters. I shot this at f11 for 1 20th of a second, ISO 100. I'm really happy with how this turned out.
After climbing to the highest point of the dunes, it was time for some lunch and a rest. So I set up with the uh, 4x5, 300 millimeter lens. And I'm working on this composition that uh, has that spine and the shadow kind of coming in, leading from one corner. No sky. So let's see if I can, I can't really recreate it with this video camera. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so all dialed in and got the hood on, keep the sunlight off the uh, lens. Gonna shoot it at f45 and uh, looking for the shadow of the mountains in the distance uh, to turn blue and everything else to get golden and hopefully we'll get some good light here. Got a little ways to, to go before the uh, sun gets down towards the horizon. We'll see, I'm definitely gonna shoot a sheet of uh, Velvia and uh, might throw a sheet of Probia in there as well. So, now we just wait. Had some other uh, explorers get in my frame there for a few minutes, but they seem to have vanished. I did expose one sheet of um, Ektar right before they climbed into the frame. A uh, little before prime light, but uh, at least I got a safety shot. And then there's always Photoshop. Uh, but we are probably about five minutes, ten minutes from the sun dipping below the horizon here. So we're looking for some good color. Yeah, baby. This is what it's all about.
hope you've enjoyed this content. And if you have, it'd be awesome if you'd hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. We'll be back with more content real soon.